Hello everyone and welcome back to another Smoking Jacket Magazine pipe tobacco review. I'm Stefan Moroni, contributor to the Smoking Jacket Magazine, and today we're going to be taking a look at the McBaron Dark Twist Tobacco, which is a mix of Virginia and Cavendish. So let's get this jar opened up and we'll take a look at the smell. It smells a lot like berries or dried fruit, very earthy. Um, I get a hint of apricot and a bit of almost raspberry-ish or a berry mixture, but it's very fruity. Right off the bat, that's the impression I get, and I'm really hoping that that translates over to when I'm smoking it. So let's put a bit in the pipe, pack it up, and uh, light them up and see how it tastes. Okay, so we've got it lit up. In terms of flavor, I get a little bit of that berry. Not very much though. It's got a mild body, not much spice. There's not a lot of flavor there, which I like. The flavor, it's not overpowering and it's also not very strong, which is my seems to be my preference based on the, the types of tobacco that I've had. I prefer something that's a little lighter and that doesn't overpower your senses so this one's good for me so as I said not much spice not a lot of body in terms of flavor a little bit of cocoa kind of earthy but again it there's not a lot here right now I'm hoping that there will be a little more as I get into the pipe um, as I've seen with some other tobaccos the flavor tends to come a little later in the bowl so I'll keep you posted Okay, and we're back. I'm a little less than about a third of the way through the bowl right now. The body has improved slightly, a little more flavor. I'm getting a little bit of earthy taste, not much spice. A hint of berries here and there. Um, a little bit of coffee occasionally on the draw, but it goes away very quickly. And I get a hint of watermelon shisha on the draw occasionally as well. Also, slight hint of cocoa and cinnamon, but not very much at all. So I'm gonna keep going and I'll let you know if the flavors change. I'll keep you posted. Okay, so I'm pretty much at the end of the bowl here. Flavor hasn't really changed at all. It's been very consistent, still the same things that I was experiencing before. The body tends to go up and down and fluctuate throughout the smoke. Sometimes it's strong, sometimes it's a little weaker, but overall it's not bad at all. Um, I don't think it's gonna change very much. It'll The flavor will probably lessen as I get more towards the end of the bowl. Um, so in conclusion, it's a pretty good smoke. It's not bad. It's good if you like mellow tobacco Again, just like the other recent types of tobacco that I've been reviewing It's good if you just want a casual smoke and you're not looking for something that's full of body and full of flavor It's just something you know, you can have whenever and personally I like that. I don't have any problems with that. So, once again, I'm Stefan Morona, contributor to the Smoking Jacket Magazine, and remember, smoke them if you got them. I hope you enjoyed this video. To see more great content like this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. Of course, remember to subscribe to keep up to date with the Leather Library's newest videos. Also, please make sure you visit the Leather Library blog for more in-depth articles on philosophy, literature, and the finer things in life. As always, keep on reading.